Welcome to the Smoke and Spice Space, where we show you ways to mix up your meals and exciting flavours on your barbecue. Over the next few weeks, we are going to bring you eight episodes covering off super simple recipes right through to in-depth, low and slow methods where flavour is the focus. Not only that, we'll also share with you our tips, tricks and techniques so you can amp up the ordinary to extraordinary. Today's cook-up is a Greek lamb share plate with a crazy good baba ganoush. Let's get spicy. When I think of Greek cooking, it needs to pack a punch with the flavor. Be bolstered with garlic, have a hint of herbs, and of course, a little kick of chili. So we want all that flavor on our lamb today, plus the magic of cooking it on the barbecue. You have the wonderful barbecue smoke, the heat to caramelize the fat, and of course, these will be beautifully tender. Today, I have chosen lamb rump steaks. I love these because they have that little band of fat on the side that goes crispy, golden, so sweet and delicious. They have a really nice flavor and they're tender too. You could use any cut of lamb you wish for this recipe, but these are great, easy to pick up from any supermarket or butcher. Enough talking, let's get onto the food. I have already got some eggplants on the cooking grill over high heat, burning and charring away for our baba ganoush. Alongside our lamb, I have these beautiful vine cherry tomatoes. So I'm just popping these straight on the plate. And then we are going to go in with some olive oil, and then I am going to introduce the star of our show, star of the spice space. It is our Weber Greek seasoning. This is all new and it is incredible. When I designed this, I wanted to include the traditional Greek flavors like oregano and thyme. There's also chili in here for that nice spice kick. But not only that, we have actually smoked garlic and onion for two hours on a Weber smoke fire, low and slow with apple wood so you have that extra dimension of flavor. This isn't your average spice BS that you'll leave expire in your cupboard. This is seriously good stuff. So I'm going straight on and it's going on our tomatoes too. Well, these are all ready for the barbecue and our eggplants are all done. Have a look at that charry goodness, so amazing. So, blender, bowl, and can you chuck a sieve? Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so what we're going to do is drain some of the liquid out of this eggplant. It's good to give them a couple minutes to cool down. You don't want them too hot, otherwise this will be too hot and steamy. All right, we can cut the tops off and then slice them in half. And then we can go into scooping the insides out into our sieve. So what we're trying to do here is just let some of that liquid drain away. Once you've scooped out all the insides into the sieve, you can give it a quick stir and this will just help release some of that moisture. All right, now it's all into the blender. We'll scoop that mix in, Oop, straight in. And then we can go in with one garlic clove. I have here some beautiful grilled lemon. It's just cut in half and then popped on the cooking grill for about one to two minutes until it's nice and caramelized. And squeeze out that juice, try and catch any seeds before they fall out. Go in with some tahini, scrape that in, and then a little bit of cumin. And then it's just salt and pepper and then off to the blender quick flavor tip for you using a basic ingredient. Whenever you're cooking with lemon, try grilling it on the barbecue first. It brings out all this beautiful sweetness, natural caramelization, and intensifies the flavors. Perfect over a salad or even grilled fish. This next part of the recipe is so quick. So I've got all my ingredients ready. I've got some flatbreads, some olives that we're going to warm through on the grill, get those wonderful smoky flavors, another lemon to grill. And then of course, add cherry tomatoes and lamb. So let's head straight to the barbecue. It's been preheating on high heat, so it's sizzling hot. I'm busting a myth that having a dirty cooking grill gives you the flavor. It is completely wrong. You will build up that unwanted grease. You may have flare ups. It will make your food taste acrid and you won't get that beautiful, perfect, clean sear. This is the best part about being in the spice space, this plate up time where you see all these amazing ingredients come together. I've just got my baba ganoush. I am going in with a little drizzle of olive oil on top. 
And then a sneaky shake of our Greek seasoning. Makes it look beautiful. Yum. Straight on. And then I'm going to slice up our lamb. You can see all these beautiful caramelized flavors and colors. Just slice that up. Just two minutes aside and that has turned out perfect. That is looking so scrumptious. I am resisting tasting it already. I love blistered tomatoes, especially when they're still nice and plump. They just burst with sweetness and flavor. And now we can go on with our grilled lemon. Fill up our little dish with our warmed grilled olives. Whenever you're creating a beautiful platter to share with your family and friends, why not try grilling your olives? It warms the olive, brings out these beautiful flavors and you get those smoky aromas on the barbecue. And then for the last part, we just need to cut up our flatbread. Just kept it warm in some foil. Grilled for one minute aside, just nice and toasted. Cut that up. So this is going to be amazing, smothering this flatbread with the baba ganoush and then topping it with those bursting cherry tomatoes and tender, tasty Greek seasoned lamb. We have our little triangles, we can just layer them around the side, ready to dip straight in. This all looks beautiful, but I am going to go in with a little parsley just for a pop of green. Have a look at that, a beautiful Greek mixed share plate. There's only one thing left to do. I am going in for the dip. On with a juicy piece of lamb. And then a poppin' cherry tomato. And maybe a squeeze of lemon. So good, look at that. All inspired by our all new Weber Greek seasoning. Let's taste. Mm. 